Hi, I'm Carolyn, and today we are making the Jennifer Aniston salad. I don't know, anytime I see or hear something with Jennifer Aniston, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of down for that. I mean, she's like our age, she's gorgeous, she seems to be ageless. So if she's eating a salad, I'm curious. So today we are gonna dive into what she has in her salad and what Carolyn would do to make it even a little more healthy. So let's get into that right now. One of the things I love to do in my downtime, just as like a relaxing thing to do, is I like to go on Pinterest and I like to read recipes. So I love finding recipes that I can maybe tweak and make them a little healthier. I like to be inspired. So that's really one of the fun things that I love to do. I saw this Jennifer Aniston salad. Who doesn't love Jennifer Aniston? And if she's eating the salad, maybe I should be eating it too. So it caught my attention. I'll tell you what's in it. First of all, there is two cups of either vegetable broth or chicken stock. So you can use water. I, that's, I don't think a big deal, but I'm gonna use some vegetable stock and I'm gonna make the quinoa. Then there's a 15 ounce can of chickpeas or garzambo beans as it's always called. I don't know why I call it chickpeas. I always have. Then there is an English cucumber, half of a small onion chopped up very finely. And here is something that I definitely always do in my salads. You'll always find lots of parsley in my fridge. Or actually, I put it in water. I snip the ends. I put it in a glass of water and keep it in my pantry area and so it just keeps it really fresh. But I put a ton of parsley in my salads. So, so good for you. So that's a good thing. And then she has a lot of mint, and I also love mint. I love mint in many ways. I love mint tea, I like mint. So those are things that 100% love, think are fantastic. Then the next thing she says is pistachios. I'm not gonna put pistachios in my salad. Nuts are okay. You have to be careful with nuts. You really shouldn't have them dry roasted. If you're gonna have nuts, they should be raw. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of careful about the nuts that I eat. So I don't wanna put pistachios in, although I bet if you don't care, I bet it would be really good. But what I'm probably gonna substitute it with is like a sprouted seed. So that's what I think I will do. And then the next thing is a cup of feta cheese. I love feta cheese. I don't really eat it on a regular basis, but as a treat, absolutely, I'm gonna put it in this salad. I would probably, instead of something like that, I would probably do an avocado. But today we're gonna really enjoy some feta cheese. And then the dressing she puts on it is just lemons and olive oil. And what she also does is she puts a tablespoon of honey in it. I'm not putting honey in it. There's nothing wrong with lemon juice and olive oil. I do that a lot, but what I will probably substitute the lemons for, although nothing, I use lemons and salads all the time, but lately I have just really been substituting the lemons or limes with apple cider vinegar because I read somewhere that apple cider vinegar, which I consume every day, I put in my tea every morning, I've been doing that for 20 plus years, but I have learned that if you do it at the end of the day, so this is gonna be a dinner meal for us, if I do it at the end of the day, it keeps me from feeling hungry for the rest of the night and keeps you a little more in fat burning mode. So I have been trying that over the last couple of months. All right, so let's get started by making the quinoa. Here's the vegetable broth that I got. I just got it from Whole Foods. It says two cups, so I am just gonna put two cups in there. And then one cup of quinoa. Now, again, quinoa isn't something that I have on a regular basis, but it is fine. It's good for you, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just something that I wouldn't eat it a lot, but I'm gonna really, really enjoy it in this salad, so I'm looking forward to it. 
So just let that simmer. It's probably going to take about 15 minutes and then we will let it cool. So it has started to boil. So I am just going to make sure it's turned down to low. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to tell Alexa timer 15 minutes. So I kept it simmering really low, but after about 10 minutes, it was done. So I would say keep an eye on it and just keep checking to make sure that this is what you want it to look like. So now I'm just gonna transfer it into a bowl and put it in the fridge so that it can cool. Okay, so we have everything chopped up. Everything is ready to go. The quinoa has cooled. I rinsed the chickpeas. I have some sprouted pumpkin seeds and I broke up the feta cheese or the parsley. I do love putting parsley in my salad. It's fantastic. It's so good for you. So many health benefits. It's just a great thing to add to your salad. Chopping it up like this, is a lot of work. I don't do this normally. Normally I just break it off and put it in, but I wanted to give it the authentic feel of what this salad is supposed to be like. The mint, same thing. It's a lot of chopping, but you know what? I just wanted to go for it. It's a little like tabbouleh. It doesn't have the tomatoes, but it has a lot of parsley, not nearly as much parsley as tabbouleh would have but I do make that once a year for my husband on his birthday because he loves tabbouleh salad, but it's a lot of chopping. Once a year is all I can do. But here is a little bit of it. I have it chopped up. I chopped up the mint, I chopped up the onions, and I chopped up the cucumbers, and now I'm just gonna put it all together. I am not feeling like this bowl is gonna do the trick. So I am gonna have to find a bigger bowl. Okay, here we have a much bigger bowl. Let's put it all in there. So just some of the good things about parsley is it has so many antioxidants in it. It helps with your gut health. The mint is fantastic too for digestion. The quinoa is good too because it is gluten free. So, you know, if you have celiacs and a lot of people have an intolerance to gluten. So that's a nice way to add something in that's really going to fill you up. But you know, if you have that issue, then it's not going to be a problem. And here we're going to put in the chickpeas and that will give you some protein. So that's a good way to get that if you are vegan. And if you're vegan, you're not gonna wanna put the feta, but like I said, I would put avocado in there. So there are options. Also, the amount of parsley, and I'll put the whole recipe in the description, but it's at a half a bushel. So anyone who buys anything like that knows that it varies. So half a bushel is hard to say. So it's, you know what, how much do you want? Because I bought a really big bushel and I wasn't mad about it because parsley is what I really want in this salad. So putting more than maybe is recommended, not a problem. This is a you do you. Now I'm gonna put in the feta and the salad is coming together and looking so delicious. And I'm wondering if I even wanna put any seeds in there. It's just looking so good just like that. I think I'm gonna skip the seeds altogether. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's a very hearty salad. This is gonna fill you up and it's going to be delicious. So I already have some lemon juice that I squeezed. So I'm just gonna pour the lemon juice over top. I didn't really measure it but it's a really big salad, so it's gonna take a lot. I'm also gonna add the olive oil. I'm not gonna measure this. She does have exact measurements for the salad dressing, if you feel more comfortable doing it that way. And like I said, she did put honey in. I don't put honey because I don't want the sugar, but 
it's fine. If that really is what's gonna make it delicious for you, just get a good honey, a good clover honey. But I don't feel it makes a difference. I don't feel there's a taste difference, so I don't want the sugar in there. So I'm just gonna do lemon juice and olive oil and then salt, Redmond salt. It's so delicious. <laughs> and then I am just gonna put some pepper in and those are the only spices that this salad is going to need. It's a big salad, so it's gonna feed a lot of people. You might wanna cut it in half. Okay, so let's put it in the fridge and uh, when it's chilled, we'll give it a try. The salad is cooled. I have it plated. Just keep in mind, that is gonna be a very big salad. So if you have a party you're going to, I think it's fantastic. I think it keeps pretty well too though. So if you want it to really marinate and really get those flavors, like I would do it in the morning and have it ready for that night. So I am gonna give it a try, but I already know it's gonna be so good. And this is a salad that's gonna fill you up. And the fun thing that I love about eating is not only how delicious it is, but when I know I'm feeding my body good things, that's healing my body, making my body healthier, then that is certainly a bonus. And I'm gonna tell you, this salad is that. So I would suggest it's worth giving it a try and it makes such a big salad, you'll have it for days. So it's one of those, it might be a little bit of work, but you're gonna have it for a few days. So it's worth it. But that's it for today. I hope you give it a try because it is chef's kiss delicious. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Let me know if you give it a try and whether you like it or not. And until next time, thank you so much for being here. Talk to you later, bye.